And what did the disciples do when they heard, oh, there's going to be a famine? In, um, then we must collect money because these people in Antioch were rich. So they heard that the people in Jerusalem were poor. So they collected money and sent a contribution, verse 29, for the relief of the brethren living in Judea. All collection of money that you read of in the New Testament, whether it is here or 1 Corinthians 16 verse 2 or 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and chapter 9, always the collection of money was for poor people. You never say, you never see Paul telling people, take a collection for me. Never. He always said there are poor people there. Please give it to them. And he wouldn't touch it himself. So there is an exhortation in, in the New Testament telling believers to give money. But if you read carefully, it was always asking them to give money to somebody else. Not to me. Not saying give it to my ministry because I need to buy a house or rent a house and I want you to support me, I am the Lord's servant. No, Paul trusted the Lord to provide his need. But he did urge believers to give money because there were poor believers who needed help. So they took a collection and sent it and this they sent through Barnabas and Saul. 